Look at you, twittering your friends and saying what? You ate a yogurt? Yes, Tammy. You haven't graded our last three assignments, and I need an A because I'm not accepted to Princeton yet. What a dull, plodding sentence. Of all the words you have to choose from, you gave me oatmeal when you could have served me a New York steak. Good morning. I would like to introduce our new teacher, Ms. Del Santo. What do you teach? Art. Honors. Hence the scarf. And you? Honors English. Hence the hands. They say she came to student. No, it was a teacher. We're going to be involved solely with a study of fine art. Whatever that means, the trouble is in the words. The words are lies. The words are traps. If words are lies, then uh, watch the truth. The picture? Here's a word for you. Arrogance. And here's a picture. This is war. War! They used art as the weapon. Words are your gods. Do we need your poetry? All we need is food and shelter and air and sex. Words are optional. And the round goes to Del Santo. <laughs> is everything a game to you? Hardly anything. You are a literary star. What difference does my publishing make? You made it easier to forgive your faults. Yeah. What's it really all about? They want to fire me. Can you think of one good thing to say about me? I'm at a loss for words. This inane war is energizing these kids. I do think you're a good man. I'm not, but I am a good teacher. A man is worth more than his words, isn't he? A woman more than her pictures. Maybe our work is the best of us. I hope not. Oh my God, Del Santo, you should see how you look in that light. Unless you speak a loud, resounding no. I want us to put our mouths together.